Hello artist, before I did anything I cut my paper in half so I can have two pieces. I drew two lines down the side and then I drew a line in half so I had four legs. And then I drew a rainbow and I should have drawn that at the bottom of my paper. I don't know what I was thinking. And then I drew a long rectangle across the top for my head and then I drew an oval for my head. And then I'm going to cut those pieces out. So I draw, I cut those two rectangles out and I cut them each in half. And now I have four legs. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to cut out my rainbow shape. And I have a body. Then I'm going to cut out the long neck. And I have a long neck. And then I cut out the head. And I actually cut the head almost in half so that it has an open mouth. And I arrange everything always before I glue it down. I always arrange it before I glue it. And you can see I'm going to cut that almost in half so that the mouth opens up. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing with the green one. I'm going to draw a long line. I'm going to draw another long line right through it and then in half. And then see this time I drew my rainbow at the bottom of the paper so I didn't have more to cut. And I'm just going to cut everything out. There's my body. Here's my legs. Cut them in half. Cut them in half. One, two, three, four. And I just arrange everything before I ever glue it down. And again, I cut that almost to the edge so that I can open the mouth. And then I glue everything down. Once I have everything glued down and in the place I like it, I'm going to trace everything around with a black marker to add the details. The details are what makes the dinosaur look really cool. Now you could add any kinds of details to your dinosaur that you want. If you want it to be scaly or spiky or however you want your dinosaur to look is totally up to you. You are the artist. This is just the way I'm making my dinosaur. But your dinosaur could look any way you want it to. Now don't forget, my video is sped up. You should be going a whole lot slower. Now some of you made your paper the up and down long way like an ice cream cone. So maybe you won't be able to fit two dinosaurs on your paper. I don't know. But you'll see. You can see my dinosaurs are going to be crisscrossing. And I draw some gnarly teeth. And then I just trace around everything to give it some nice details and make those dinosaurs really pop out and show up. And that's called emphasis in art. I want to emphasize those dinosaurs so I trace around them. Now if I wanted to add scales on those dinosaurs, I could go ahead and do that. Or if I wanted to add spots on my dinosaurs, I could go ahead and do that. If I wanted to trace around the spots on the dinosaurs made by the paints, I could go ahead and do that too. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? In fact, I might go do that anyway and show you in the very end what that would look like. And there you have it, the finished dinosaurs. Now, go ahead. When you're finished, you're going to post these on Art Sonia today. There's a spot that's going to say 103 Dinosaurs on Art Sonia for you to post them.